Hello, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another pretty major update on the Alec Baldwin fatal shooting on the set of Rust. And it actually comes down to the sort of line of charge over these weapons and set safety and the like. We had reports yesterday, and I did a video on it, which indicated that the assistant director, David Halls, had previously had some safety complaints lodged against him. But now, as with most of these things, when these situations sort of ramp up and pressure is put on individuals, more information comes out. And this is perhaps quite chilling because it reveals that, you know, essentially what I said was true. You know, these things just escalate. People's lack of respect for safety and such tends to just get worse and worse and worse. And it's really important when we talk about the assistant director because they are responsible for on-set safety. So David Hall's having a distinct lack of safety and being fired from a film because a gun went off previous to Rust. Yep, that's right, this is back in 2019. Seemingly indicates that, of course, things just get worse and worse and worse. People don't suddenly just go, oh, I'm going to wise up now. If he was going to, he would have done based on being fired from a film. So this, this is important to cover uh, because, again, it's that, yes, we have a line of custody of weapons and, and such. You know, the armourer, there's, there's a whole bunch of nonsense about this armourer. I mean, quite literally just hired because of who her father is. Not because she's skilled. She had worked on one other film before. That's an abject failure. If I ever did see one, the individual, uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, had even expressed uh, a lack of confidence in going into working on Rust herself. So that's a whole other story entirely. Uh, and like I said, an abject failure. But the person in charge of overall set safety, David Halls, the assistant director, is not exactly one person that respects his job, uh, as evidenced here. He had previously been fired because of onset safety problems. Uh, very specifically and chillingly because of a gun went off and had actually injured someone as well. So let's dive into this, ladies and gents. And thank you one and all for returning and appreciating the coverage uh, of all of this stuff. Like I said, I will continue to do as many updates on this as possible because it's just one of those things that needs coverage. We need the pressure on it. And this isn't just to remove guns or, you know, remove guns from people. That's, that's not the point here. It's the fact that in this industry, very specifically, this could have been avoided, you know, through many, many, many means, uh, actually. So I think it's important to cover it. Uh, so here we have it. So the fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins by Alec Baldwin last week on the Santa Fe set of Rust wasn't the first time the first assistant director, David Halls, it's not David Hills, it is actually David Halls, uh, worked on a film where a weapon discharged unexpectedly. Back in the late 2019, a gun went off on the Arkansas set of Freedom's Path, where Halls was an assistant director. The incident caused a member of the Rocket Soul Studios produced movie sound department to jump back from the close by blast. Now, this is a statement from one of the producers of Freedom's Path, anyway, stated to deadline. First of all, our condolences go out to everyone affected by the recent tragic events in New Mexico. I can confirm that David Halls was fired from the set of Freedom's Path in 2019 after a crew member incurred a minor and temporary injury when a gun was unexpectedly discharged. Halls was removed from set immediately after the prop gun discharged and production did not resume filming until Dave was off site. An incident report was taken and filed at that time. So they, they took this incredibly seriously. They removed him instantly from the set because, again, it is his job as assistant director. They oversee the entirety of the set safety on site. He hadn't done that. He failed. Therefore, he was removed and fired. Now, the injured crew member was back on set in less than a week. A source close to that production tells Deadline. A replacement assistant director and armourer were hired almost immediately and filming continued until just before the end of 2019. Freedom's Path wrapped up post-production last year. But no release date is set for the film starring uh, RJ Seiler and Jaron Howell. 
David Halls has not responded to requests for comment by deadline. The producers of the currently shuttered Rust also did not respond when contacted on whether they knew of Halls firing from Freedom's path, because that's important. If they weren't aware of that, okay, let's let that slide. But if they were, and most people are aware of everything that goes on in Hollywood, let's face it, they are. They close ranks, though, and they begin to protect their own. It's you know, let, let's just for argument's sake, the Harvey Weinstein situation. Everyone knew what was going on. People just chose to keep quiet, right? It's the same thing here. You know, incidents happen. People talk. You know, you're going to tell me that such a niche community such as Hollywood would not be aware of David Hall's firing from a movie set? Mm, I'd say that they probably were. I mean, especially with the, the likes of social media, instant messaging. I'm sure this had gotten around fairly quickly. Now, uh, cinematography um, uh, cinematography is the deadliest job in Hollywood. Uh, Death of Russ cinematographer Helena Hutchins put spotlight on safety for cameras. This is just an article, but that is actually quite important. You know, A lot of these uh, situations, actually, that's done remotely normally when someone is aiming at the camera and things like that. It's done remotely, but that also does come down to the director. The director should have informed individuals to move at certain places, and the director on aside with the assistant director should have explained to people no we need to move people here uh, and we need to have a remote camera over here going rather than people behind the camera now this is interesting in a career including uh 2000's the crow salvation uh, 2003's the matrix reloaded and the upcoming dolph lundgren star castle falls halls also had a personal behavior complaint filed against him two years uh, while working on Blumhouse TV's anthology series Into the Dark. David Halls worked on two films for Blumhouse Television in 2019 and was not rehired after that time. He got blacklisted by Blumhouse TV. Uh, and it was to do with... Uh, so it was to do with very aggressive and intimidating behaviour. And I did this... Uh, you know, I spoke about this yesterday uh, in the video then about how the need to be approachable as a director and assistant director because if there are safety concerns and things like that no one's going to want to approach you if you're aggressive in your sort of demeanor uh, to individuals because why would they and risk getting their head bitten off you know they'd rather just let some safety issues slide or potentially not want to raise a safety concern or not want to call you out on a safety concern um through fear of being belittled and attacked uh, verbally. Uh, and so this is important. Like I said, if you can sort of command yourself around a set, clearly as David Halls did, because he's had behavioural complaints lodged against him before, you're not really caring that much about safety. You know, he's been fired, but he still has this sort of attitude. It's not a recipe for success. Now, I think what is potentially the most disturbing stuff is obviously David Hall's pretty disturbing, but then it is also uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed. That individual has just, this is the armorer for the film. She should never have been hired. Uh, she, this is someone who has simply only been hired because of her father. She has no experience. She had one other film which had only just wrapped uh, production basically when she got hired, and her father is a famous armorer in Hollywood. She was only hired because of that rather than her actual skill set, you know? And this goes down to a case of, why are we hiring people simply because of a name? Surely we should be hiring on skill set, right? And I know that it, it's kind of like one of those, well, duh, situations, but it's not well, duh, because unfortunately, again, Hollywood closing ranks and sort of, you know, being this weird sort of niche club, they don't like to let other people in. They like to just keep uh, indulging and uh, fellating their own, as it were, which seems to be the case here. Um, but yeah, the tragic uh, element of all of that is, of course, that now this has led to the death of someone. Uh, and it's not when we talk about the armour, that's really important because this is an individual that actually had safety concerns raised against them as well on the, on the first movie that they worked on, the first and only movie that they worked on before being hired for Rust. Um, very specifically, she loaded a gun in gravel, in dirt, sand, and then didn't check the barrel for debris. That's pretty major stuff, quite frankly. Uh, and, you know, as someone who's not aware of guns, I would say that that's probably, you know, gun 101, isn't it? If you're going to load a gun, make sure it's on a, a place where debris can't get into the gun, into the chamber, into the barrel. Uh, I, you know, even me, someone who has a rudimentary knowledge uh, of firearms, that would seem obvious. 
So there we go, there we have it. That is the update thus far. Tomorrow we will be getting a major update because the Santa Fe Sheriff's Department, which I did uh, wrongly say yesterday, was the police department. We don't have the differentiation here in the UK, so forgive me. But the Santa Fe Sheriff Department tomorrow will be giving a pretty major update on everything uh, to do the investigation, what's going on. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens tomorrow, but I will give you that update as well. So please do hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for that and any of the updates on this as they drop. So thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you appreciating the coverage of this story because it is important. It is important stuff to cover. So thank you so much. Uh, give that, give the video a like if you want to get it out there a little bit more and please do share it. But thank you so much. Take care.